Hi folks and welcome to the first video of the STEM competition series featuring the wonderful Formula One in School STEM Challenge. Teams of three to six pupils have to design, construct and test a model Formula One car which is then raced on a 20 metre track, propelled by a carbon dioxide cartridge. The pupils use 3D CAD software such as Fusion 360 to design the car and can test it in a virtual wind tunnel using CFD software. For those taking part in the competition, you even get a free educational license for the software from Autodesk. The body of the car is manufactured using a machine like this, a CNC router, which cuts the car from an official F1 model block. Once that's done, it's time to put the car together, paint it and get it ready to compete. If you can, you'll want to refine your design after testing its performance, say, in a wind tunnel or by some other means. So, what happens in a Formula One in Schools competition? Well, once you've turned up and settled in, it's time to hand in your car for scrutineering where it's weighed and measured to make sure it conforms to regulations. You'll also want to set up your pit display. This is your base for the day, where you can show off your design work, prototype cars and anything else you think will catch the judge's eye, from DIY wind tunnels to free cupcakes. As a team, you'll have to prepare a verbal presentation about your team's work. And during the day, you'll also be assessed on your design and engineering portfolio and your enterprise portfolio. The first is a document outlining your car's design and manufacture, research and development, and methods of testing. The enterprise portfolio outlines your team's efforts to raise funds in order to take part in the competition. Whether it's activities within the school, like bake sales and race nights, or efforts to secure sponsorship. If you'd like to dip your toe into the world of F1 in schools, then there's an entry level competition which is less demanding. After that, you could return the next year at development level before taking on the world at professional level in your final year. Hopefully, this has given you a feel for what's involved in the competition. For more information, visit f1schools.co.uk. See you next time.